In 2014, uh, I was approached by a friend in our church about coming on a mission trip to India. So decided to come to India, and um, about the third day here, I found out that the Good News Center had a piece of land, and they had a really big need to build an orphanage on that land. I took that and thought, uh, oh, that's neat, you know, that's pretty cool. I wonder what it would take to build an orphanage here in India. So I felt God kind of birthing in my heart to build an orphanage, that it was my responsibility to get it done. So um, I get home and my wife picks me up from the airport and I tell my wife, hey, <laughs> I probably, I've probably i got to go back to India next March. I don't know what it looks like, but I've got to get this orphanage done in India. So <laughs> my wife just about had a canary. She thought, you have just got home and you're already talking about going back to India. But I feel like God has just birthed a flame in me to get something done after what I've seen in India. So long story short... <clears throat> It's March 2015, and here we are in India. And this week we've laid a lot of groundwork to get the orphanage done. Um, and I, I say the orphanage, but the orphanage is going to be so much more than just an orphanage. This is the land where the orphanage is going to go. And uh, I want to clarify something. I, this orphanage is not only going to be for the 32 children that live here, it's going to serve as a multi-purpose, multifunctional building where we're going to impact the community. I say, I call it the orphanage, but honestly, it's going to be so much more than that. Um, and the area where this orphanage is going to be built, um, they're going, you know, there's, there's schools in close proximity. There's playgrounds. This will have a garden center where this facility is going to be built, where the children can get outside and play. Um, so there's lots of facets to get this building done and what this project is going to benefit. Um, having said that, there's possibly going to be um, um, about probably 3,000 people a week that this building is going to impact. Um, and the two-year plan, you know, is going to be growing. And probably at five years, there's, there's going to be probably close to 10,000 people that's going to be affected by this orphanage um, a week. What originally ignited, I think, my flame was um, just the children in the slums having, or none of the things that we have in the States, the children in the slums really don't have. They don't have a, a clean place to sleep. Uh, they don't have uh, good nutrition, good hygiene, um, a clean place to play just a clean place to be a child. Um, there's so many things that the slum children don't have, but yet they experience so much joy. I mean, we've taken video after video of them playing in the trash and playing in the street and doing the very best with what they have, and they have joy. You can see the conditions here in the slum, and uh, what our orphanage is uh, wanting to do is to reach out to these children to have a safe place to play it's clean and a uh, healthy environment to teach them. Um, so that is our quest. And you can see the conditions here. Uh, not a great place to raise a family or children. So I'm, I'm, I'm asking you today to not only help me achieve this goal that God has placed in my heart, um, financially and with prayers, but to remember our mandate to spread the word of Jesus throughout the world. I feel like um, this building and this ministry is doing that. So today, again, I ask for your prayers and your financial support to help me get to where God wants me to go.